Accordion. It is my great pleasure to speak to you today as part of the annual NCSC Research Conference. It is a particular delight to speak to you as Minister with Responsibility for Special Education and Inclusion. And this is the first time that there has been a dedicated minister in this vital portfolio. And the creation of this position is an acknowledgement of the central role that special education plays within our broader education system. And we are all here because we are dedicated to supporting those students who have additional needs and continuing the work of reforming our education system so that it can meet the needs and requirements of all students. And I want to acknowledge the work of the NCSE, the National Council for Special Education, in transforming the special education landscape in Ireland since its establishment. Under the stewardship of Theresa Griffin and the whole executive board, the council is progressing its work in helping to transform the lives of young people with special education needs and their families. And the conference is an important event in the education calendar in Ireland and traditionally provides an opportunity to meet up in person with other colleagues working in the area and hear about their latest research developments. Alas, while we cannot do that in person this year, we have, like so many students in our schools, learned to adapt and engage with aspects of our world in a different way. And as we are all aware, Ireland, just like many other countries, faced unprecedented challenges in the wake of the pandemic in spring this year. Almost all aspects of our lives were affected, including, of course, education. And teachers had to adapt and start teaching their students in ways that many of us did not envisage, through greater use of technology, through online instruction, through video conferencing and other similar tools. And parents also had to adapt to the new reality of supporting their children's learning to a greater degree than before, of putting in place routines and approaches when suddenly their children were not in their familiar educational surroundings. And while the challenges were great for many students and families, they were particularly more so for some students with special educational needs. School closures for many meant the loss of valued connections, routines, opportunities to engage with friends, teachers, SNAs. Remote learning worked for some students with SEN, but presented challenges for those with more complex needs. And it is at times like these that the importance of the school environment in a child's life becomes clearest. While school closures were an unfortunate public health necessity in the early days of the pandemic, we cannot deny the difficulties it created for many students with SEN. Government is committed to doing everything possible to keep our schools open as we continue to tackle COVID-19. In my view, this is particularly crucial for the special education sector. Continuing to provide education in our schools is in many ways at the heart of our entire COVID-19 strategy. This is in recognition of the value of education in a child's life, no matter what their needs or abilities. And the dedication of school staff during this period has been tremendous and inspiring. And it has not been easy, but it has been achieved through a lot of hard work by communities and across the country, by teachers, SNAs, principals, students and families, our schools reopened in late August and have remained open. And although students and teachers are back in the classroom, we know there are some for whom it is still not possible or where there has been a COVID-19 outbreak, students must remain at home for a period. This year's NCSC Research Conference, with its focus on online learning and inclusion of students with special educational needs, provides us with an opportunity to take some time and reflect on our experiences since March. It also grants us an opportunity to take these learnings and look to the future. How do we best progress the ongoing reforms in the area of special education that are still needed? Whether it's starting the process of introducing therapeutic supports within our school system, addressing the barriers that prevent the opening of new special class places in our mainstream schools, reconceptualizing special education in its broader sense to include those who may not have been fully included previously. Ireland has a proud history of providing education to its young people. The strength of our education system is one of our many advantages as a country. The ongoing work of building an education system that is accessible for all students sits well within this tradition. It is for this reason that I welcome the commitment that has been provided to me that all new school buildings sanctioned from 2021 will include dedicated rooms and facilities for special classes where needed. The allocated funding for new and improved school buildings in this year's budget will support that objective as part 
of the development of new ASD units and other special classes across the country. We are also investing in new posts, better training, and more supports for the special education sector. As Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon uh, which you can use to change the world. There are a number of exciting presentations from national and international speakers this morning, which I have no doubt we will all be able to learn from. In a short while, Mary Rice from the University of New Mexico will discuss how inclusive teaching can happen in an online and blended learning environment, giving some key practical approaches to engaging students with uh, special educational needs. Mary McGrath from the NCSC will outline how the organisation responded to the needs of schools, students and families when the schools closed and the impact it has had on planning for the future. Roger Slee, currently at the University of Leeds, will give the final presentation, reflecting on what the future might hold for inclusive education in the context of the pandemic and our experiences over the past eight months. The first presentation is from James Batham, a professor of special education at the University of Kansas. He is also the Senior Director for Learning and Innovation at CAS, which is a Boston-based research and development nonprofit and founders of the Universal Design for Learning Framework. And his work is focused on developing future-ready learning environments that are equitable, beneficial, and meaningful for all learners. He has also served as a consultant for school districts, universities, regional and national education agencies, foundations, and corporate entities. I therefore hope that you find this presentation and those of the other presenters today to be both useful and informative to you and that they will assist you with your work to support children with special educational needs over the course of the year. And finally, I hope you all enjoy the NCSE Research Conference this year and the opportunity it presents to reflect for the future of special and inclusive education. Winnegi Tadnav Asanlaw.